I don't know. It's like what people do now, share what they thrifted. I think it's sort of like fishermen and how they like to, you know, show off their catch, their big catch. It's probably the same thing with thrifting, you know, just showing off our, our catch. Time and time again, breathing count to ten. I know accidents somebody told me. Everything All right, so I love thrifting. Always have. All of my favorite thrifted pieces from 2024 are from The Real Real. Uh, believe it or not, this is not a sponsored video, <laughs> but uh, it sort of feels like it. Just like fishing, it's quite rewarding when you when you get the big one, when you're real in a big one. So that's what I'm sharing with today. Are my, are my big ones, are my, are my big fish. If you are interested in checking out the real real, like I said, it's not sponsored, but I do have an affiliate link down below. So if you go to that and make your purchases through that link, it supports me and my channel. So I thank you very much. As well as that, I'm going to also include a link for if you wanna sell on the real real. That is the other thing. They make it so easy to sell because either they'll send you a free shipping label that you can ship your stuff in, or they will actually send out a consultant to come and pick up the stuff for you and package it all for you and do all that. And they keep it all in the app. So you see exactly what's selling, when it's selling, and then you get commission. You can take it as a store credit or you can take it as payment. So clearly I'm a fan. The first purchase of 2024 was these beauties here. Uh, the Tory Burch moccasin flats. If I'm being completely honest, I think it was ultimately nostalgia that brought me back. When I was in my early 20s was when kind of like the first bout of Tory Burch uh, came around when like the Tory Burch ballet flat was just massive. And at the time I could not afford a pair of Tory Burch flats. I think there was like a part of me that needed to like fulfill that sort of thing. You know, just repaying my 20 year old self for all her hard work. Uh, because I'm not bringing new leather in, I couldn't really get a new pair of Tory Burch flats um, and they don't make any vegan versions. So I went to the Real Real specifically to see what they had. I came across these ones. And these for me just kind of fit me and my style more than the ballet flat. I think it was ultimately just the Luxe Tory Burch logo that I that I loved. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I'm not a glitzy or logo wearing type, but for some reason that gets me. So I like that you can end up discovering something that you wouldn't otherwise have discovered. Number two is an Oscar de la Renta Empire Belt. So I started to see, you know, the Empire Belt coming back onto the runways and it definitely was like an inspiring look to me because I've obviously been really into the whole oversized silhouette and I loved the idea of then belting the oversized pieces that I had and just giving another option. And then I'm not gonna lie, I kind of liked the idea of owning a Oscar de la Renta piece, you know? Who, who doesn't want a little bit of Oscar in their closet? So number three, I'm quite proud of myself for. <laughs> I was on a mission for a light washed vintage style sort of denim, uh, straight fit, because it was filling a gap in my denim collection, in my jeans collection. And I had like some very specific ideas of how I wanted to style it for the summer and all that sort of jazz. Came across on Anina Bing's site, the Gavin Jean, and quickly became beyond obsessed. They were sold out of my size, um, searched for them everywhere, couldn't find my size anywhere. So then I Googled the Jean to see if like there was maybe somewhere I hadn't looked um, and the real real popped up. It popped up on the real real. I'm like, what? Clicked on it and it was my size, brand new, tags still on and everything and half the price. So I quickly snatched those babies up. So I think that was destiny, you know, that was meant to be. This brings up another great point of thrifting is the ability to get like an amazing deal on something. Obviously, again, 
it is not that instant gratification. It, it takes patience, time, effort. It, it sort of is com the complete opposite to impulse buying because it is a very uh, long, drawn out, drawn out sort of process. And you gotta really want something to, you know, sort of commit that time to it. Um, and then sometimes you just get lucky, you know? My fourth piece is actually quite recent, and that is my Stella McCartney handbag. I have recently been getting back into handbags. When I went minimalist, I, I got rid of a lot of my, my purses. I think then what I realized was not having an elegant handbag was sort of a missed opportunity because I suddenly realized how much an elegant classic handbag could refine a look, especially a casual look. It all of a sudden just became this little key that opened up so many inspiring looks. So I knew that I wanted another handbag and I didn't necessarily need it to be like a luxury or high-end designer or anything like that. I just knew I wanted like a quality, elegant, luxy looking one that was going to refine my outfits. Searched for a really long time and then I decided, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just look up Stella McCartney bags. Most of them were still way, way out of my budget. Again, right time, right place, came across this one. And it was like an absolute steal of a deal because there's all these little nicks uh, in the uh, vegan leather. That's the beauty of me <laughs> and my preferences with my accessories and my clothing pieces is I love a bit of wear and tear in my pieces. Cause I love, I think that just shows like a bit of character, um, a bit of grit. It's almost like, you know, like I said, like a fine patina. I love that it's quiet luxury, that you don't know that it's a Stella McCartney bag. Um, the only little uh, logo is on on this the strap here, like it's imprinted there. I've fit a lot of things. Uh, let's see what I have in here currently. I, it's very full, so I don't know what I, okay. Sunglass case, of course. Wallet, uh, two little mini baby books, you know, chapstick. A uh, Hot Wheels car, yep. Who knew this was gonna turn into uh, what's in my bag <laughs> video? <laughs> Another Hot Wheels car. The twins absolutely love Hot Wheels. Some made good Star Puffed Crackers. Uh, another Hot Wheels car. Some Merit lip gloss, hand lotion, keys. Some paper from school, you know, conferences, school conferences, and a pen. Yeah, and I still have plenty of room in there, so, yeah. That's, that's what I'm after. <laughs> Dual purpose. Style and function. Another little obsessive detail that got me really excited about this is the canvas, little pop of canvas here. Uh, because now I have a handbag that ties in with my cream high top tree torn sneakers. You know, all about that tie in. All right, number five is my most recent and the one I'm probably the most giddy about because it is the one I've been searching for the longest. And that is my Marnie Chelsea boots. Yeah. So big fan of Marnie. I haven't been after these specific ones, but I've been on the hunt or the search for another pair of Chelsea boots <laughs> as if I need another pair of Chelsea boots but I've actually been missing just a sort of like straightforward pair. The issue for me is I have a weird obsession where I can't just buy something simply classic. That's just simply classic. There's, there's always gotta be like a little, little touch of edge in there. It's sort of like, you know, finding a, ma a mate, <laughs> you know, as you're dating, you know, there's some good options. There's some good options. Um, but you know, there's always just a little something missing. You couldn't really put your finger on it, but just not quite right. And then when you find the one, it's like, you just know instantly. And there's like no questions asked not to compare these to, you know, a lifelong partner. But <laughs> when I saw these, I just, I knew it wasn't even, there wasn't even a question. There was no hesitation ultimately because it is a just classic Chelsea boot, but 
We've got the little added bit of edge with the square toe. Maybe what they will do is just inspire you to find your special boot, find your special piece. Uh, you know, spend many hours and time and scrolling, searching for yours. Um, but let me tell you, it is definitely very worth it because when I do find a piece like this, it is very inspiring and I feel like unlocks so many things within my wardrobe. So there we go.